Oh, hey, Charles Xavier Anthony Walters III here. Hey, nice shark shirt. And all my life, I've been labeled Not. different. People just don't get me sometimes. Like, they might even say I'm a fish out of water. <laughs> but seriously, there's one place where I can go that I feel like I'm the big kahuna, a king, a rock star. Do you have an aquatic line or... And that place is the Oklahoma Aquarium. Hey there, Sea Explorers. My name is Charles, if we haven't met yet, and guess what? I'm taking you on an expedition of the latest and greatest exhibit here at the Oklahoma Aquarium. It's called, of course, the Amazing Invertebrates. <laughs> Vertebrates are animals without a backbone or a skeleton. They make up 97% of all species on Earth, and many of them were here before the dinosaurs were here. That's like really old. Uh -huh. This exhibit is home to several amazing invertebrates, such as Ecuadorian white shrimp, giant freshwater prawns, lobsters, hermit crabs, horseshoe crabs, sea stars, sea urchins, anemone, and jellyfish! <laughs> My personal favorite, if you couldn't tell. Jellyfish are fascinating creatures. Did you know that 85 to 98 percent of their body is made up of water? So when they wash up to the shore, after just a few hours, they evaporate into thin air, like literally becoming one with the sky. Fly away, little jellyfish, fly away. Jellyfish can also clone themselves. If you were to cut a jellyfish into two, they would regenerate themselves and create two from one. Wow. Now that's something to be jelly about. <laughs> Jellyfish do not have a brain or a heart, which reminds me of my older brother. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Trap. No, but seriously, even without a brain, they're still able to take in information. They have nerve cells that extend throughout their body and create a nerve net. This nerve net operates the same way a brain would, allowing jellies to react to their environment. Another fun fact, the aquarium grows their own jellyfish to fill these tanks with, and I got special permission to check it out. Let's go. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, they're babies. Oh man. Oh, it's Dr. Money. Hey, Dr. Money, how are you? Hey, Charles, how are you? I'm doing, doing great. This is awesome. Can you tell me about what you guys are doing back here? Absolutely. So we grow a couple of different types of jellyfish here. These are white spotted jellies. They have a very complex life cycle. We start them from little, little tiny babies. And as they get older, we move them over until they're full grown and we can put them on exhibit. Wow. <laughs> These are awesome. Come on, let's go look at some other oh, stuff. Please. Here's another species that's on exhibit as well. These are our upside down jellies. Yeah. And they're stinkers because they sting like all jellies, but they can sting you without you even touching them. They throw their barbs into the water. So even just putting my hand in the water would sting me. This is, so, I can't believe you guys let me back here. Thank you so much. This is an incredible aquarium. Thank you very much. I think so too. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll let you guys get back to it. Okay, all right, bye, see you Charles. later. Yeah, bye. Jellyfish truly are amazing invertebrates, and we've only begun to scratch the surface of their awesomeness. So if you want to learn more about these guys, uh -huh. come on down to the Oklahoma Aquarium. <laughs> Jelly dance.